Today we're going to talk about the 2015 Toyota Tundra Crew Max and how it separates itself from the competition. The first thing I want to talk about is the Triple Tech frame that only the Tundra comes with. Now the, the, the frame section is divided into three sections. The first section is what we call a fully boxed frame. We want it to be the fully boxed frame because the fully boxed frame gives us a lot of support because this is where the most of the weight in the engine of the engine and suspension is. So we want that section to be very strong. On the rear section of the truck, we use what's called an open C channel. Now the reason why we use the open C is because it's much more compliant. It'll give more. Tundra uses a double wishbone front suspension on all of its Toyota Tundra models. Now, double wishbone front suspensions you usually only find on race cars and Formula One cars. So you have to ask yourself, why would Toyota use it on a pickup truck? There's one reason. Because we have a double wishbone, we have an upper control arm and a lower control arm, it gives us more traction, which enables the truck to steer better. I want to talk about the tow hitch on the Toyota Tundra. Now our competitors, when they mount the, the tow hitch to the frame, they only use two bolts back here by the bumpers. We actually have 12 bolts. Also our frame is, the length of our frame goes almost halfway down our frame rail, which gives us better stability for towing, but it's also connected to the frame in 12 places instead of two. Toyota uses something called a staggered shock. What does that mean? Well, one is mounted forward like this on the other side of the axle, the other one's mounted towards the rear. That does a couple of things. It prevents wheel hop. Wheel hop is whenever the, the driver accelerates very quickly over a, a washboard road or over railroad tracks. So what the staggered shocks do is they keep the wheel from hopping over rough surfaces. Okay, Toyota uses the largest brake in this segment, 13, we have a 13.9 inch front rotor. The reason why we want a larger rotor is because it dissipates heat better and also we have a larger service area to dissipate that heat because we have more friction, more contact pad for the braking, for the brake pads. We also use something else. We also use a four piston caliper braking system. All of our competitors use a two piston system. Now the only disadvantage of this is cost. It's dramatically more expensive to use this, but it's much more effective at applying pressure to the rotor. So when we press that brake, you have four pistons instead of two. Let's talk about engine design. All twin engines are all aluminum, and we like aluminum for two reasons. It weighs less and it dissipates heat better. Think of it like this. If you heat up a piece of aluminum and a piece of iron to 300 degrees and you drop them on the ground, the, the piece of aluminum will come down to room temperature at three times the rate of iron. Obviously, we want, we want to keep the engine as cool as possible because heat breaks down components and also breaks down the fluids. 